Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the stormy Norwegian coast. As you can see, the waves are just amazing and the light is a bit, let's say, interesting. There are light beams coming through the clouds and it's just not so much wind so that you don't freeze and just the waves are amazing. So I'm really looking forward to this day of shooting and also I have a few things that I want to try today and it's not only that I want to try to do a long exposure and a wide shot. I want to take the telephoto lens and want to shoot out and isolate some splashing up waves which is the perfect day for this. But I also got something new. <laughs> right after I got the Z6 I saw on the Norwegian eBay I saw some old cameras. Oh. I hope the water is not getting cl too close to me. And we actually found some really cheap old Nikon cameras. You could, you could say this is the Nikon Mart. It was only sold in Japan. I don't, I don't know, 1970s or something. And I've never shot film. So today I will try to shoot my first film photo. So this is kind of a premiere uh, with this camera. I'm really excited about that. If I wasn't enough excited about the Z6, this certainly does the job because no experience with film. And with that, we got another camera which is a bit smaller. Uh, I don't remember the model. This is a really Nikon, old Nikon camera. This one is kind of the Nikon F0. The first, one of the first ones with the F mount. Even, I think even it is one of the first models. And I will, because I don't have any experience, I will first take the photo with the uh, DSLR and then I will yeah, just use the same exposure on the film camera. There will be more of those photos on film. I will do a separate video about that where I try to compare photos, the same photos I took with DSLR and film, how I feel about it and if it's just fun. Because what I can tell you is fun already, with these cameras came four really, yeah, let's say retro lenses. And this one is one of them. It's a 28 wide angle, uh, f2.8. I just really like it so far. I like how it slows down the progress of making photos because it's just, yeah, the, the manual focus goes so slow and you really just pay attention to what photo you are taking. So this is the only lens I brought today from these retro lenses and we're gonna try that out. I'm really excited for that. And as you might see, I found my first, I found my first scene here. Just these stones, the waves are just crashing over it. I think it's perfect for long exposure. No, I can't really put a ND filter on this lens, but maybe I just hold it in front of it. And if it's only, we're talking about max five sec, uh, four seconds because the old Nikon camera can only do four seconds, only four seconds. But let's just start shooting. I'm really excited. Nice to be back with the uh, outdoor video in 2020. Thanks for tuning in. And oh, before I forget it, if you like this content, maybe consider now liking it and subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. And now let's go. The first thing I will try out here is just to go with the camera and the 28 millimeters and just look for an angle that I really like. And then we maybe take a photo, maybe not. We really have to think about it because we're talking about film.
not too happy with what I see right now. Um, I'm just not getting it in the 28 millimeters frame so that it gets interesting. But I will try another spot. But first, before I leave here, I really want to do the shots with the telescope lens. And I think that will work because we have these small waterfalls from all the spray coming down. And that's what we do now. I really hope that you can understand me despite the strong wind and uh, sounds of the waves. I'm really trying to make an intimate shot of this, so that's why I have the really long lens on. I didn't want to bring the 28 to 300. And I will just try some exposures, then show you what I mean, what I have here. And I'm really excited that we're just at the coast and doing something else for a change. Time are set and really high aperture, like f32 or something. But I can't just get it darker for a half a second exposure. So here we go. It looks interesting in any case. So I can always see when the bigger wave is coming in from the right side and then I have to shut, uh, push the shutter button directly because I have two seconds uh, delay on it. But uh, it, it's really fun, it looks really good. I took like the background out because I think it's a bit distracting and the sky is too boring with this exposure. So I want to have more of the movement of the waves. If you understand what I mean, you understand what I mean. <laughs> so, here we go. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm just waiting for that one mega wave for a really short exposure this time really short exposure so then I get a splash or something. Maybe I even do it handheld. Don't know yet. I think I had enough with the long lens and I really have to change locations. The waves are now so strong that I don't want to really want to sit here any further and risk getting wet. <laughs> Especially my gear getting wet. As you might know, seawater is worse to gear than normal water. Both is not really good, but that's even worse. find more what I'm looking after but it will be also more wet you can see that the waves get quite strong it's still okay but there is a lot of water here already and yeah 
but I will just try to get around with the 28 millimeters. I think if I find a nice composition, that's worth getting it down on film for my first photo. I should take this too serious. <laughs> I'm looking really forward to cleaning my gear. You can already see how much spray is on the builder. I think I found what I want to record on the film now and it's just possibly getting really wet so I leave the video camera here and I'll show you the photos after. I, I mean I can show you the film photo then you have to tune into this other video when I show my first roll of film ready but I will show you of course the photo from the DSLR. I hope it's okay with the wind um, because I can't get the Z6 here I would have too much water on it. Some of the waves are coming in, I help hold my hand in front of the lens. Um, I think I have what I want. I did the exposure in the DSLR and now I will mount the film camera on it and try the shot. I really have to wait for the right moment. Because also this one has like a timer. And I don't really know that timer yet. So I have to decide if I want to just shoot it or use the timer. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit tricky, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try. I guess I'm ready. <laughs> uh, I don't know how it's gonna be. Oh God, I'm nervous. Even if I don't, if I'm not gonna see this result in it will take more than a month, I guess. It seems that I will be denied a beautiful sunset. It's rather grey and it's getting really dark right now. So I think I'm done for today and I think that I tried enough today, enough new things for a new start. I think the weather was perfect. And even though I wish it would be colder because it's supposed to be winter. Not sure how that thing with the film worked out because I held an ND filter in front of my lens. But I think you have to just come up with stuff because, yeah, you just want to try things, right? And you want to get the exposure right and you want to have long enough shutter to have some movement in the water so I think it was a good try before the camera in my hands gets any heavier I thank you ever so much for watching and tuning in you can like this video if you liked the weather or you liked the pictures that I took you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet write me a comment if you liked one of the photos or whatever else you have to say tune in for the next episode and yeah, just bye and see you soon. Have a lot of fun with your photography.